Morning everybody, kayak fishing on saltwater again today. We're in Franklin County at Bald Point, which is also real close to Alligator Point. And we're in Oclotney Bay right now. And as you can see up there, there's a bridge that goes over to Panacea, which is Wakulla County. But once again today, we're gonna be looking for redfish, trout, and flounder, and probably, that's probably about it. Maybe a black drum. But anyway, we're gonna start hitting a little bit of this, then go back into the creeks. <coughs> Just trying to get all that out before that happened. And then Bald Point goes right out to the Gulf of Mexico right there. Yep, so you go out to Gulf of Mexico, then you have Dog Island, and then St. George Island, which are really big. St. George Island's a real big beach area that puts you out onto the Gulf. So this is like the sound. I think a little bit further over you have the sound and this is still actually the Gulf right here. So we're gonna start hitting this area with jigs, mirror lures and all, see what we can find. Ah. Woo. Looks like we got a keeper trout. I think so. There's a sandbar right here. All right, so just got a trout. May or may not be a keeper, but uh, this is second fish. Just had that lady fish a minute ago. Cut me off, but uh, put that right there. A little trout right there. Measure him, Let's see what I got. 15. It's all right, dude. Just, just stay where you're at. Just leave him in the boat for a minute. Or you want to fish this anyway. Let's go back this way some. Anyway, Chris has the bag again for the fish, the fish bag. So I'm just going to move back, wait for him. We're going to fish this area for a minute. Fish on guys, fish on, fish on. Think he's gonna put me in the rope though. Got a crab trap rope right here I'm fighting with. Woo buddy, he's a fighter. God dang. See what it is. See what it is. Come on, just come to the top. Ah, stupid catfish. He's a giant though. Giant catfish, 100%. 100%. Hate a catfish. Yeah. Them things are so strong, man. Dang it. Dang on catfish. All right. There's catfish for you guys. Sail cat. These right here will cut you. Sorry. That'll cut you. That'll cut you. So we're just gonna release him with the pliers. <sighs> Hopefully. <sighs> okay. And then he slimes over the line, twists it all up. So I'm gonna have to retie again. But what a fight, man. Them things are strong. Woo. Okay, just using white gulp shrimp. That's caught all three fish so far.
they show them something. Yeah, something. Doesn't feel too big. Ah, let's see what it is. Small trout. Ah, he, he kicked it out. He might have been borderline. Got another one. Dangling it off the boat. I was just dangling it off the boat, trying to put turn the camera on. Oh man, he might be 14. That's hilarious. I was dangling it off the boat, trying to turn the camera on, and he hit it. Good lord, little trout. Probably gonna be too short though. 14 on the nose. I'm gonna throw him back. Okay. All right, so we just got in the little creek. This is the mouth of the creek. Bay's right behind us. Hopefully, we just got on a little bit of fish. Fish on, fish on. Oh, that might be a keeper. Ooh. Might be a keeper, that one's close. A little bit small. So, 14. Okay, so we got a little spot right here. We got a couple of fish on, so I'm just gonna back up and stay right here for a minute. Well, guys, just caught another one, and he caught it on a fast retrieval. I was actually trying to get it in the boat and not jigging it and he hit it right next to the boat so I couldn't get my GoPro on quick enough. Another short one, just gonna let him go. So we caught three short ones right there at the corner. We're gonna move on in and see if the bigger ones have moved past them at the mouth of the creek here. Chris got hooked up right there. See what you got. What's that, a little trout? Yeah. What are you using? Gold. Nice. Another 14. Like 14. Yeah, he's 14 right there. We got to get out of this little school of them. Yeah, that might be. Uh... Oh, Chris is hooked on again. The other GoPro just died on me. See if I can get you a view right there. I think you got him. I think that's a good one, isn't it? Pretty close. These may be the 14 and three quarters. We need to go look. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, so the last fish was 14 and three quarters. So maybe we need to move down and get the, the 15s and then move further and get the 16s. And we'll be there. <laughs> Woo! Puking up your face, man. <laughs> what do you have? A little red? Yeah, I've caught a really small one right here before too. Wow, that is the smallest red. What are you using, spoon? 
mirror lure. Let's see if there's some more in here. Club a baby seal on the head for a cold beer right now. <laughs> That's a little extreme. <laughs> That's a little extreme. Well, we paddled about what two miles up the creek. No fish, so we're gonna head back to the mouth and uh, try to find something out in the bay. Not even gonna fish this because we didn't we didn't even have any bites. I did have a catfish back there, but no bites through here really. He did actually catch a about a 12 inch redfish. But uh other than that, it's scarce back here, so we're just gonna head back to the bay. Yeah guys, right in front of me is probably a school of 30 inch redfish that are tailing in about two foot of water. We've been using a gulp shrimp with a jig head getting stuck on the bottom because of the oysters. You can see them, they're head down into these oysters, eating them. Okay, straight ahead. See that right there? So we're gonna, I put on a bass lure. Oh my God, he's right there. He is right. This is like a super fluke swimmer or something. It's a swim bait. Oh my God. If they don't bite, dude, they're literally right there. Freaking heart's killing me right now. All right, so this is lure about number five. I think I've already broke off using a super fluke. I'm gonna work it semi-fast and keep it off the bottom if at all possible. Uh, Chris did lose his fish, so uh, super nerve-wracking. I just want to catch one of these guys. They're not eating anything we're throwing, though. Dude, they're not going to eat. There's one. two of them. There's two of them right there, sir. Oh no, there's a bunch of them. I scared them when I stood up. one right there I mean we're done that's I'm in them I literally can see them is he a black Get over there and help you when you get him up. Give him another second, dude. Oh man, he's under the boat. Yes. 
Ready? Two hours catch this fish, dude. They're, they're fish all over the place, but it's been like two hours out here. Thank you. You want to release him? Yeah, go ahead, man. You gotta release him. No problem. Let's watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Take off. Just not red, just black. Right. Okay guys, so we're back at the house and uh, after Chris caught that black drum, we just decided to call it a day because we had been working on those fish for a while. I mean, what, a good hour, two hours, right? They just wouldn't eat anything. Yeah, so there was, redfish and black drum and they just wouldn't eat we threw everything in the tackle box literally and broke off quite a few things because there was oyster shells and stuff but anyway all in all great day great day fishing with cousin chris again and kayaks are washed up everything's ready to go back to pensacola he'll be headed back tomorrow but uh man what a great weekend hope you guys enjoyed this see you next time